everyone welcome to my channel i'm piper i thought today we could do a get ready with me hair and makeup this is the final look So I usually like to start with my hair and I just found this really easy curling hair tutorial from watching too much YouTube that we're gonna do today. It takes like seven minutes, it's really quick. And I start with the hair so that I can let my moisturizer soak into my face. She usually uses a texture spray, she said in her video, but we have dry shampoo, so we're gonna. I have clean hair, but sometimes you gotta throw some in there to Help your curls stick, you know? Let her soak up those juices for a minute. So I don't really know what size curler this is. I have two sizes, this one and a bigger one. And I didn't like the way the bigger one curled, so we do this one. Get her heating up. So my hair isn't very like thin or thick, it's a happy medium, but I can't do it all in one. So I usually part it in at least two, sometimes three sections of hair. Just pin that back like so. And then take a section, don't get it caught in your earring. Curl just about halfway. Just curl all these little pieces. Leave some out at the end. Hold it for just a second. She didn't hold it for very long at all. And then don't let go of anything and you just pull it out. We're gonna do the same thing in the same direction. Don't do anything. Don't lift that. Nothing. You just pull. Look how cute those curls are. So cute. So for this next one, we're gonna go in the opposite direction. I like the ones close to my face to be away. So opposite direction. Okay, sorry, my girl Caitlin called me so I didn't get to see the other half, but I did the same thing. And so I think we're just gonna do two halves today. So we'll go ahead and let that top down and curl these ones. Same thing, you want these ones to be away from your face and then it doesn't matter, just those ones closest to your head. Curl halfway. You don't have to hold it for very long and then pull her out. I just think it leaves the cutest little curls and then they're really easy to just run your fingers through when you're done so they're not like curls, you know? It's kind of hard to see my curls with my such dark hair. I swear they're there.
then what I usually do is just run my fingers slightly through the curls. Tease it a little bit. Seven minute curls. Okay. Let me get some makeup out. Such an essential for getting ready. Alani news. Welcome to my face. All right. We're gonna start off with a primer. My friend Rachel gave me this one. Just get him in all your little crevices. I haven't been wearing makeup hardly at all. How about you guys? Do you do your makeup to sit at home every day in quarantine? I like to go ahead and do my eye primer so that I can let him sit. I have these very hooded eyes. Like when I close, there's no eyelid. She gone. So I have to let this guy sit so that hopefully anything that I put on my eyelid can actually stay. So as you can see, I have some nice scarring from my mask knee. So I take this LA Girl Pro Conceal in the green color and a concealer and we're gonna plop them on your spots because the green will help the redness. And if you don't do your concealer with it and just put your foundation on top, then your foundation will look gray in those spots. I've learned from experience. Don't be like me. And you don't want to use like your under eye concealer because it'll make those spots pop since it'll be brighter. You want to get one that kind of matches your skin color. I'll just paint this all around. Also, remember what I said about cheetah in my last video? Do you see my cheetah pajamas and my cheetah sweatshirt? This is my makeup bag. <laughs> I just go in and dab it, mix it all together. See how good it conceals that redness? My face is pretty, it's been better. Like it's not breaking out as bad, but man, those scars. My face never used to scar. And then once we started wearing the mask, it was like every single thing that went on my face, instant scar. shows way more than real life does. <laughs> it is not cute. So today we're going for like every day. So we're not going to do my hardcore flawless foundation. We're just going in with a BB cream. And this one has salicylic acid so I feel like it's a little less mean for my face. And a beauty blender. Pop some on your face and start blending around. I've seen girls that do like the foundation brush and stipple, but I cannot get it to like take away the little stipple brush marks on my face when I do it like that. What do you guys do? Do you do a beauty blender or do you do a brush? Let me know. And what's the tricks for the brush? I'm gonna bring it down our neck a little bit. What's everyone doing? 
today. My friend Kaylin's coming, and I think we're gonna go get healthy smoothies and teas from Dash Nutrition. And Jake's parents are coming on Thursday, so I ordered groceries to be picked up. I have to go pick up those today. So now we're gonna go in with a bronzer just to liven her up. I like this one from Makeup Revolution. It's so cheap. I don't know if you guys have anything from their brand, but my concealer was that brand. This is that brand. Um, I have a powder foundation that's their brand. Well, a foundation stick. This is my summer color, so we can't do that one. Just gonna get a couple dabs. And then you just go like right over Blend her out. Then I like to put some up here. No really rhyme or reason, just to darken it up. And then I don't get any more on my brush and I just kind of like my nose. Cute. We probably need some blush, some highlight. My boyfriend got me this palette for Christmas last year and I am obsessed with it. It's the Tartius Pro Glow Blush. It has the prettiest, yummiest colors. They're so pigmented. Blush is my favorite. I can't live without brush. Look at these colors. Look at them. I think the one I probably use the most is this one. I just think it's so pretty. What should we go for with this cheetah? Probably my favorite one still. Yeah, that's cute. I tend to put on a little extra blush because She's always the first to go. It doesn't matter how much you put on. She'll be gone in an hour. Okay. And I have the hardest time picking out a highlight. Because they're all so beautiful. I have this. This is Makeup Revolution too. These beautiful colors. And then those ones that were in the highlight palette. And then I have the Tartius Pro Glow palette without the blushes. And it's all of these beauties. How do you decide? Let's get, I have this little highlight fan brush. What looks cute with the cheetah? I think this one. So I'm sure a lot of you are wondering why we didn't conceal our under eyes. I used to do that, but sometimes when you have flash on in pictures, your concealed under eyes will be like, CONCEALER! And I just don't really like that. So I don't really do that step anymore. You have to accept my bags for who they are. Morgan night shift. All right, let's move to our eyes. This has been my go-to palette recently, the ColourPop. They have so many cute colors for eyeshadows and lips, and they're so pigmented. They're so great. Look at all these. All nudes. Look at how well they match Cheetah. That's probably why I love it. All right. For, since today's our everyday look, we're not going to go too wild. I usually like to do this one in my crease, this one to spice it up a little bit, and then like one of these on my lid, just for like everyday. These are beautiful for fancier days. A little smoky eye. These are way more orange on your face than they are in the palette, so they're for a special occasion.
boyfriend's sister is a cosmetologist, right? She used to make makeup YouTube videos. Her name's Kylie Ellis if you want to go watch some of them. But she does such a good job and I never used to be good at makeup until I started dating him and she could teach me all my things. Shout out to Kylie. And then this one on the lid. Cute. Blend them together a little bit. So I did this one on my lid. So I think I'm going to take this one. I like to pop it in my little under eye. Ooh. More aggressive than usual, Piper. Cute. And I used to be an eyeliner whore, a hoe for eyeliner, if you will. But with these hooded eyes, how are you supposed to wear eyeliner in those? Hmm? You can't. They end up up here. So we don't wear eyeliner anymore. Got this Makeup Revolution mascara. We love her. I have tiny little baby eyelashes. such a flattering angle for you guys love that then we take this edge of a brow brush and brush them out I don't know if you guys have seen everyone doing their brush straight up their brows straight up like my girl Whitney Simmons, she's been doing that. I don't know if I can get on that train. I don't know if I love it. Have you guys been wearing your brows like that? I'm not hating. If you love it, that's fine. But I just don't love it on myself. I don't know if it, oh no. Maybe since mine are so dark, I don't know. Also Makeup Revolution. It's like Glossier Boy Brow if you guys have had that. So great just brush them on I feel like my brows really don't need anything too extra because they're pretty dark and luscious to begin with Ooh. that one brow got a little a little wild all right, and I usually just throw on like a lip gloss for an everyday thing. I have so many beautiful lip colors, but you don't need anything for like your everyday look. I love this one from ColourPop. So cute. So sparkly and extra. Love her. Yep, that's cute. All right. Thank you so much everyone for watching. Let me know if you like this video. Let me know if you'd like to see like a more hairstyles, um, like a going out makeup look, not an everyday makeup look. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Thank you.